So infortimab and dotin is a drug antibody complex. Uh, the antibody is against nectin-4. Uh, nectin-4 is an adhesion protein that's expressed in 97% of urothelial carcinoma specimens. So what we've done is we've linked the antibody basically to four uh, different molecules of MMAE, which is an antitubulin agent, and this particular complex is internalized into the cancer cell. It's bound, it binds to nectin, it's internalized, then cleaved, and thus we're able to give a more targeted treatment or targeted chemotherapeutic approach to a patient with metastatic urothelial carcinoma. Nectin is expressed at low levels in normal tissues, so the thought of this is to avoid side effects and to maximize uh, toxicity against the cancer cells. So we did a phase one trial that escalated dosages uh, up to 1.25 milligrams per kilogram, which is the recommended phase two dose. We didn't go further than that. We didn't see any dose limiting toxicities, but we didn't go further because drugs in that particular class, uh, we couldn't, other drugs, other constructs with similar linkers and uh, MMAE, uh, we couldn't escalate past 1.25 milligrams per kilogram safely. So uh, in our preliminary experience, we found that approximately 40% of patients who had not received checkpoint therapy responded to infortimab and dotin. The same pattern was seen in those patients who were checkpoint experienced. So it's implying that the drug has activity whether you've had checkpoints or not. I think the interesting fact about this particular drug is that we have about a 40% response rate in patients with hepatic metastases which is really unheard of with any other agent in phase two in metastatic urothelial carcinoma. We know, for example, that the checkpoints really don't respond well in sites other than lymph node. We do see responses, but not at the same level that we would expect to see with, uh, in lymph node or in patients with good performance status. So uh, there is a phase two trial which is being done to confirm this data. Uh, the results are still pending at this point. The trial has closed accrual. There's a second arm of that phase two study that's looking at patients who are platinum ineligible and have not yet received checkpoint therapy. And there's a phase three study that is uh, randomizing infortimab and dotin to a dealer's choice or standard of care chemotherapy. I think another interesting phase one trial that's being done is combining infortimab and dotin with pembrolizumab. So basically you're getting uh, two different treatments that have different mechanisms of action and hopefully we'll see synergy between these two approaches. So that trial is also ongoing. So there are side effects that are seen with infortimab and dotin. Predominantly those are peripheral neuropathy, fatigue. We also see uh, elevated levels of glucose. And in fact, we had one toxic death that was related to sepsis and, a, and a basically a, a glucose that was out of control. Uh, so we basically uh, set a maximum limit to the patient's glu glucose being of, on a treatment day of be, being 250. But other than that, it's a fairly well-tolerated drug, and um, uh, it, uh, uh, at least our responses seem, at least in the preliminary data, to compare favorably with checkpoints.